Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Universe 2.0 Classic Series. Classic Series 2.0, Sunstreaker. Alright, let's take a look at the box over here. I'm going to move back so y'all can see this a lot better. There we go, Sunstreaker with Electron Pulse Blaster. There we go, Robots in Disguise, Autobot. I love that anime looking thing right here, Transformers. He's an Autobot if you couldn't tell. Classic Series 2.0. There he goes. I forget which wave it is. You got Prowl and Tankor. Race car mode, which looks really nice. Here he is in his stats right here. So you got that in the back. Again, the anime, Transformers Universe, Classics 2.0. And if you want to read his bio, there it is. Pause it. Do what you got to do. Let's look at the figures. I'm going to start with the size comparison. And I really love his... Robot mode. There he is with GI Joe and Iron. So as you can see, he's a deluxe size in between this. Iron six and a half inches. GI Joe is about three and three quarters. So you can kind of tell what kind of reference we got here. Normally you don't do a reverse transformation, but I find it easier than transforming from car mode. Don't know why. Let's take a look. Here we go, man. Beautiful looking, you know, beautiful looking figure over here. I like the rabbit petrol ears right here, and the roof scoop actually attaches in the back right here. So you got that, you got his pistol, looking good, looking good. So, so for as far as articulation, head is on a ball joint, moves over here, doesn't have any light piping, that's alright. Shoulders don't exactly connect, so that's the only one of the few flaws I find in this figure. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist articulation, has a little electron pulse uh, blaster that does uh, double as an exhaust. Has this weird looking swivel, but that's just mostly for the car door. And of course, shoulder does move in and out. Has a waist swivel. Ball jointed hip. Does have a knee joint. And a ball jointed, I forget what that's called, ankle. So it's looking good. Looking good. Pretty good articulation. You can definitely get them in pretty decent poses. So not bad at all. Alt mode, very nice. Give them a 8.5 out of 10 in that alt mode. So let's go ahead and transform them. First thing we're going to do is pop up the roof scoop. Set to the side. Pop off. There we go. And I don't know why, but it decided to be a sunny day today. <laughs> That's all right. First thing we're going to do is going to move this to the outside like that. We're going to put in his legs over here. Make sure they pop in. The feet pop in right there, nice and neat, like perfect. And the automorph gimmick here. Look at his head. Now you see it, you turn it around, now you don't. Very nice. And I love the fact the detailing we have here, it pops up really, his hood just pops in really nice. Really nice, really nice and tight. Maybe a little too tight sometimes. So there you are. Hopefully I can get this unpopped without snapping it. Oh, geez, that just kills me, kills me doing that. So there we go. Not bad. All right, we're going to move this up. And there's a swivel joint right here. So we're going to move that. All right. Yeah, it's really, really tight how this fits in here. So you kind of get a, get it in. And that goes down like that. And then that clips in like that. Good, good. Same thing on the other side. Rotate this up. This little bit right here rotates up. Right, swivel that, clip that on there, and great. And this whole assembly on here just slides on in. Hopefully I don't break the darn thing. There we go. It's kind of tight, kind of tight. There we go. <laughs> kind of have to finesse it in there. Don't be, you know... All right, easy day. And we just rotate that up. And I love the detail there. Snap that in. So it is really well proportioned. There we go, snap that in. Put the uh, decals on the back. Pop in the exhaust. Just tabs right in. Roof scoop just goes on top. Just like that. Oh man. 
it's looking good there we go <laughs> it is just beautiful oh yeah and the grill just just like that it is looking beautiful this is one beautiful car I don't know if you remember the Magnum PI vehicles from back in the day and there we go rolls really well but I just love the detailing on this you got that headlights the grill sparse paint apps which I really don't agree with detail on the wheels really nice black windshields very dark and very Lamborghini type if you remember Magnum PI yeah you got the vent vents over there because the uh, engines and Lamborghinis are in the back and we are 84 good homage to back for the G1 so paint apps are good but if it had more paint apps this would have been awesome I would have given it a nice 9 out of 10 and it hides the robot extras really well very alternator-esque on the exhaust eight nine eight and a half out of ten on that bad boy all right youtubers that's all I got and I catch you all next time